This is Mike with Bold Action Gaming here to demonstrate my new camera kit system. It's designed to make camera work easy. So what we have here is a camera key press as evident by the CK on the ground. When I come up to it, it'll give me the option to hit E. When you hit E, it'll track or view a specific object until you hit Q. Once you hit Q, it pops you back out. You can go right back into it if you want. It's really good for security monitors and things like that. Next we have the camera timer. This is more suitable for cutscenes. You simply place it and when a player approaches a specific object that you've placed, in this case this barrel, it will initiate a uh, user specified timer. And I think I have it set for like 15 seconds currently. It also tracks whatever object it's looking at. Actually all of these cameras do, so that's worth noting. But in this case I'm trying to demonstrate what it would be like if you had a wall in between here. You would see it but tracking back and forth left and right. Um, it's just a simple AI object on a node path, um, just walking back and forth. Last, we have the uh, major piece here. This is the multicam. It's a completely dynamic system in the sense that you can have as many cameras as you want. You can only have one camera target, but you can have as many cameras as you want. A separate camera initiator, and it will view from multiple angles. So check this out. What I have is I have a, a set of buildings on the inside and the other side of that wall and a single camera target and I think four cameras. We're going to go up to this. It's going to operate just like the other one. Hit E. And we have a little camera thing here in the upper left that tells you what camera you're on. It tells you the you know instructions at the bottom if you want to hit Q to leave the view. N for next. P for previous. So check this out. If you want that feel of trying to make it go through. Unfortunately my camera software is making it stutter a bit but you can see it will go through. It's very smooth when you're doing it in the game. Unfortunately my camera system is incredibly system intensive and it does not work very good at allowing me to press buttons. But let's take a look at how this works in the editor. So in the editor what we have is uh, three separate components. This one's the easiest. You just place a barrel or some kind of non-dynamic entity, or uh, sorry, dynamic entity, and you set the code. You just go to Bolt Action Gaming, Camera Kit, and we're going to use Camera Timer. Open. And you make sure it's got to be set to Static No. Uh, I recommend Physics No, but I'm leaving it like this just to, because it doesn't really matter. Um, in this case, what I have is I have a simple AI path, which there are plenty of waypoint documents out there. Or, you know, view tutorials on uh, YouTube you can look at. What I did to make him do this is uh, we have a rate of fire one, view cone one, view range one. He's never going to see you. He's just going to walk back and forth forever. Same thing with this guy over here, except this time it's in a circle, but uh, it's in a C. And we have our same barrel, same thing. It's set for static mode no. Bold action gaming, cam kit, you have cam key press, boom, done. That's literally all you have to do. And the only other thing I would recommend, obviously, is uh, it does need to know what entity you need. So you can hover over and get that in the bottom. Now, if, you, if you're having trouble with that, I've actually made another script. Uh, let's put that in here real quick. We're going to put the supply box. Boom. Properties. And we go to Bold Action Gaming, Camera Kit, and Get Entity Num. And what that's going to do is, as soon as you log into the map, it's going to say the entity number of this object is whatever and then you're going to have a very clear idea of what that object is. Now this is how we did the multicam system. Like I said you can only have one camera target and our camera target is right here. It's this green barrel standing in a sea of blue barrels with a nice little arrow pointing at it. And what I've done is I have this blue barrel is a camera and inside the building this, this blue barrel is a camera this blue barrel is a camera and these blue barrel is a camera and what they're all doing is they're all pointing at the green barrel but by being clever what I've done is I've made it look like there's multiple cameras what's really cool about this is you can pretty much put as many cameras as you want I mean it will it'll do hundreds if you want it'll track moving objects I've had objects fly out of the sky like I've dropped them from the sky it'll follow them down and watch them bounce with the physics system is really cool so that is basically the nuts and bolts of it. It's designed just to make it as simple as possible for anybody to use a camera in Game Guru uh, with a minimum amount of coding. And so check it out on the store. You should see it soon. Thanks.